qualified candidate for Commission District 3, challenging Mr. Drew's deck. You have two choices before you today, uh, two maps, very specific, coming from two totally different entities. The first map that you have for consideration is a map that was drawn by the elected officials and staff of Hernando County. <coughs> These are the people that were elected by the county as a whole to do exactly what it is that you are doing today. That map is above and beyond in compliance with the as near equal as practical under the law according to the Attorney General opinion of the state of Florida. It also takes the moral high ground and ensures a free, fair, and equal election by including all pre-qualified candidates in their existing districts just as this board did in 2003 and as a pre-qualified candidate I cannot thank you enough. Option number two is a map that is drawn by a local special interest organization that is headed by another pre-qualified candidate, Mr. Paul Douglas. What we haven't discussed and what the media has neglected to point out is that Mr. Doug Douglas is challenging County Commission Chairman Jim Atkins. I don't understand how a candidate who is in the same exact position as I am can possibly come up here and draw a map that precludes all of the competition currently challenging Mr. Drewsbeck, all but one of the individuals challenging Mr. Stevens, and the individual who has presented this map is now challenging County Chairman Jim Atkins. This map is not what the county is looking for. It is drawn by a very small group of people, it has had no public input from people at this podium as far as where those lines are drawn, and it eliminates all of the competition from two of the gentlemen who are currently running, with one exception, and inserts the individual who drew the map as the current challenger for County Commissioner Jim Atkins. That map not only does not follow major roads, it does not follow roads. And I find it very difficult to understand how Annie Williams is going to tell people who live in the spare bedroom of one house that they are in one district, in the master bedroom of that same house that they are in a different district, but that will be for her to decide. So I'm here in support of the county plan that was drafted with full public input over the past 30 days, and I want to thank you all. I want to thank specifically Commissioner Drewsbeck, uh, who asked that all pre-qualified candidates, and Commissioner Stevens, that asked that all pre-qualified candidates be considered just as they were in 2003. And I thank you, and again, gentlemen, Merry Christmas. Thank you.